So check this out. I've been saying I was gonna do a video like this, but I really, I really wasn't sure. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really wasn't sure if I was gonna do it. But I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try something else for my YouTube channel. You dig what I'm saying? Because like I said, I like sports. I like football. I love basketball. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I was just watching uh engraving or trying to watch engraving vids on YouTube. And he got an interesting title. Like, I, I really, 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 really like Lamar Jackson. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really, really like Patrick Mahomes. So, I started thinking to myself, what could the Ravens do to improve themselves? Right? So when I look at it and I think about it, I say, you know what? These are some of the things. This is these this is some of the things that they need to do to improve. All right. Number one, and for sure, do not trade Hayden Hurst. I've been hearing a lot of noise about the about you know uh the Ravens trading or trying to trade Hayden Hurst or whatever. All right, this is what I would say. He is the best tight end. My Andrews is nice, but he is not better than Hayden Hurst. Do not trade Hayden Hurst. If you're gonna trade a tight end, go ahead and trade Nick Boyle. He's a block of tight end, cool, you might need that, fine. If you're gonna trade, honestly, I wouldn't trade neither one of them. They're on a contract. Forget all that, you know what I'm saying? But if I'm gonna trade a tight end, I'm gonna trade Nick Boyle. I'm gonna trade Nick Boyle and not Hayden Hurst. First off, I'm gonna figure out a way to get Hayden Hurst involved and get him the ball. All right? Like, come on, man. He the best, he the best pass catcher. Really, he got the best hands on the team. Um, What I would do, a lot of them unnecessary receivers, I'm getting rid of all of them. Like, uh, what's his name? Roberts. Uh, Now, the dude they drafted last year from, uh, what, what did he come from? Pitt or Notre Dame? One of them schools that got gold in their uniforms. Yeah, he just drafted, so you give him time to grow. But here's what I would do on offense, all right? This is what I would do on offense. First and foremost, I'm addressing my outside receiver problem. So in this draft, I'm getting one of these top receivers. There's so many receivers in this draft that you, you could choose from. Honestly, um, C.D. Lamb. And Jerry Judah are the best, or the, are, are projected to be the best. I like C.D. Lamb. I like C.D. Lamb. He might end up going to Arizona. If Arizona is smart, y'all need like an offensive line. Hey, y'all need everything: offensive line, defense, wide receivers. I'm gonna go ahead and put Kyler Murray and C.D. Lamb back together, bro. I'm putting them back together, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing, bro. Like. Man, fuck it, bro. I, I know I need a line and all that stuff. Let me go ahead and get a receiver, man. That man is a monster. You dig what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing, right? But I'm getting, I'm getting, because I, I would even take a chance. I would even take a chance on on, 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 on a free agent wide receiver that can create, because y'all need, the Ravens need somebody that can create separation. They need more than one. Because if, um, Hollywood is your Hollywood is your number one um receiver. That's a problem, man. Like the man, I think he was like probably man, he might have been 60 or 70 percent healthy the whole season at best. At best, he might have been 60 or 70 percent healthy. So with that being said, with that being said, what I would do, this is what I would do is draft a receiver in the First round, right? Y'all got a 28 pick. Uh, I think they say the dude from Clemson uh, is probably, he might end up being around that area. If he's still there, you get him. That man is, that man a beast too. He might not be the fastest receiver as far as a 40 yard time, but there's a difference between um, 40 yard time and game speed. There's a big difference in the, between the two, right? In game speed, he's fast. 40 yard time, he, he fast compared to me and you. 
You dig what I'm saying? But it's a difference between game speed and 40 yard time, like period. Point blank period, all right? And we need Lamar to continue to work on his his, his accuracy. Uh, accuracy. And I, that's, that's, that's what he need to continue to work on, accuracy. I don't know what kind of drills he need to do and who he need to work with, but hey, you need to be, I would I would really tell him to go work with uh Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning in the all season to work on footwork. Peyton Manning guys has some of the best footwork ever. You know what I'm saying? Or go work with Drew Brees. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As far as footwork in the pocket. Because that can change a lot of things as far as his accuracy, footwork. If you have, you don't have the best footwork, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have good footwork, you know what I'm saying? You can't really work how you want to work. So you need to probably go work with Payne Manning and work on footwork. Or you just go work with quarterback guru. But I would work with like Payne Manning or, uh, 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 or Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson if they're willing to have me. They're willing to take the chance with me and, and, and help me work on my game. You feel me? Um, but that's just me. Um, but I, if, I would probably go work with somebody that's probably retired, like pay many, ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help if you want to be better. If you want to be great, there's nothing wrong with, with asking for help. You dig what I'm saying? That's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? The people you know might know some things, but they, they don't know everything. I would go with somebody that's been in the game, that, that, that done played the game, that done won in the game, was great in the game, won MVPs, won Super Bowls, and all that. That's what I would do, but that's just me. Um. It, but I'm gonna be real with you. And now, as far as defense goes, as far as defense goes, the Ravens need interior pressure. Interior pressure. Interior pressure. So. Uh, I don't know how much cash space, let me see. I don't know how much cash space the Ravens have, but let, let's take a look, you feel me? Cause I'm, I'm right here next to my computer. Um, Ravens cap space. So, so it's saying the Ravens have They have about $24.6 million um, dollars in cash space. Um, and that's according to over the cap. So, with that being said, let's see what they got. Uh, who are the free agent? Um, free agent. Well, I'm not sure, cause this shit, this is this, this, this video. Where, where my phone go? This video going on pretty long. You know what I'm saying? It's like eight minutes right now, and I don't want no super long. But this is what I say: <coughs> they, they need interior pressure. So, matter of fact, I can just go to NFL.com. I don't know what the hell. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Free agent agency. Okay. Um. Now, everybody probably thinking like, okay, well maybe we need to get uh like maybe we like need to get like Jadavion Clowney. That's not bad. That's not a bad. That's not a bad choice of player to go get. That's not a bad choice of player to go get. But hold on. Mm, I just need the list. Ah, Lee, bro. That's crazy. All right, they got all of this one. No, we need, we need defense, bro. Slow, come on, slow computer. All right, now I see like Von Miller. I see Jadavion Clowney. 
I see Everson Griffin, Ever, Ever, Everson Griffin, um, Michael Brockers. Dude, they got some players. They got some players. That's. They got some players, bro. They got some players. That's. They got some players on here now. Don Terry Poe, and Dominican Sue. So, here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. Cause we need interior pressure. Now, I'm gonna be different here, bro. We got, we got, we got some free agent money. See that we got a little bit of money. We could, uh, we could, uh, we could play with a little bit out here, man. We got, we got some. We got okay. So here's what I would do. Nah, they saying Von Miller's is a free agent. Um. So I would. This is what I would do. I'm just gonna throw money at the wall. You see what I'm saying? So, see where if it's gonna stick. You know what I'm saying? Um. Now obviously, we not gonna get all these players. Obviously. But if I, if I'm them, bro, this is where I'm gonna throw money at. Cause we need interior. We need interior pressure. I'm trying. I'm throwing money at Von Miller. I'm throwing money at Jadavian Clowney. I'm gonna throw money. I'm gonna throw money at Michael Proctor. I'm gonna throw money at. I'm gonna throw money at. I'm gonna throw money at. Uh, I think Vic Beasley is free too. I'm gonna throw money at him. See, here's another thing. I want speed on defense. Me personally, if I'm on, if I'm if I'm running the defense, I want speed. I want them. I want my defense to be fast and ferocious. So I need hard-hitting, fast, and ferocious killers. You know what I'm saying? No emphasis on the killer, but I need, I need, I need fast. I need speed. So you know what I'm saying? So because our biggest, the, the Ravens' biggest threat is going to be Kansas City, and and, and maybe the Chargers depend on what they do at quarterback, because they got weapons on the outside, and if they, if the Chargers are smart, they will go try to go get like Marcus Mariota and run and try to run the same type of offense. Marcus Mariota, Cam Newton, um, or somebody of that nature that can get outside the pocket because the Titans never did Marcus Mariota right. Like that's like that's like buying a Ferrari. That's like getting a Ferrari and driving it like it's in this electric car. Man, you gotta treat what what you like in college is what you gotta do. The Titans never played to that man's strip. But this ain't about Marcus Mariota. Alright? This is what I would do. This is what I would do, and I might do a video on the Chargers next, or I might continue down the path about the Ravens, or all teams, really. Comment down below and see, if, and let me know what I should do. All right, all right. Now I need to get interior pressure. Now the cornerbacks and um, safety, safety can kind of, be, I think, I, I, I think safety can be addressed. But y'all, cornerbacks kind of straight. I mean, if y'all want other quarterback, I would just go in the draft, get one out of like the fourth or fifth round, uh, and develop him. Cause you know you can find some nice cornerbacks in this draft in the fourth or fifth round. So that's what I would do. But that's just me. You don't necessarily gotta do what I what I what I'm saying do because hey, who am I? But I know we, the interior pressure is what y'all need. Y'all don't like the Ravens do not have no interior pressure whatsoever. So me being me. I'm going interior pressure, or like on a free agency. I'm going interior pressure, and and and, and I would, like I said, I would not trade Hayden Hurst. Um, if anything, I'll get rid of Nick Ball. Um, yeah, that's what I wouldn't do. That the only way I'm trading Hayden Hurst if I'm gonna go move all the way up to about the seventh spot, and I'm getting Jerry Judy or something like that. That's the only way. That's the only way I trade uh, Hayden Hurst. If I can move all the way up to the seventh spot and give up my pick for like Jerry Judy or C.D. Lamb. I said Jerry Judy. You know what I'm saying? Either one of those. I'm not Jerry Judy. C.D. Lamb. Because he's probably going to be the first, first receiver off the board, really. I think he's going to end up being in Arizona. If Arizona is smart, you're going with the receiver. Arizona, y'all need... I need to look at y'all cash space. I might do a video on y'all, too. But, hey, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe on the video. 
Tell me what you like, what you don't like, you know what I'm saying? If there's some things you would like for me to answer about your team, the Ravens, or any other team, let me know. Because I'm really thinking about bringing this type of content to my, to my channel. If it, if it goes well. If I get enough likes and I get enough comments and people, you know what I'm saying? I, I keep, keep it going. But that's all on y'all. Hey, now at the end of the day, make sure y'all stay blessed, progress, and do something that you didn't do yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Because every day, you want to be better than what you was yesterday. Y'all stay blessed, for real.